All right, I did a Q&A on Instagram recently. Follow me, please. And a lot of people were saying they wanted to see me do more tier lists. So here we are. Let's do the ultimate objective final beast of the Mesozoic Ceratopsian series tier list today. Also, no face cam because my head looks like it's a literal Sasquatch nest. I felt like it would be appropriate to start with this because we've been reviewing a lot of BOTM stuff on the channel and we're kind of in that transition phase from the Ceratopsian series into the Tyrannosaur series now, so let's dive into it. First of all, this wonderful thing is, is, uh, is, is put its wonderful face out in front of me here. I can't English. S tier. The fan's choice, uh, Medusa Ceratops is absolutely glorious. I love that thing so much. And I'll link the videos in pop-up cards if you haven't seen my reviews for any of these, if you want to see my full thoughts. Oh, who is this who's currently out of stock that I really want but can't get until Christmas this year? It's the Styracosaurus! Now here's the thing, I love all of the- I love so many of these, like, so much, but I can't put them all in S tier, so I'm gonna try to spread them out as fairly as possible so they're not, like, all clumped up. But the Styracosaurus for now I think is like a low S, high A for me, but I'll just put him at like a low S. That thing's so good. I love the colors on it. It's so iconic. All right, the brown juvenile Centrosaurus or Monoclonius if you live in the late 1900s. This one's okay. I feel like it's just, it's boring compared to the fan's choice version. So uh, this one just gets a, like a low D for me. It's, it's okay. The sculpt is not my favorite. And since we just talked about the fan's choice variant, let's grab this one here and this one, once again, I think the colors are lovely. I'm a sucker for the colors on this one, but I'm just not a fan of the sculpt. Um, so I think this one's like a like a high C for me. Like, I think that's fair. Oh, you want controversy? Oh, let's get it going. Fight me. Fight me in the comments. A tier for the Nezutoceratops. I understand why people don't like this one, but it just jams with me. It's just a tropical punch little punch bowl of goodness. My adjectives are glorious today. Alberta Ceratops. Ooh, this one, this one's, this one's S tier, but this one's in front of the Styracosaurus. I love that one so much. I'm a sucker for anything like Native American tribal colors, and this one is just so cool. Seeing this one in person really sold me. Let's do this one. This one's interesting. Now, this one is representative of all of the glow-in-the-dark ones that he's done. Um, I believe he's coming out with a bunch of mini ones like Raptors and Cetacosaurus and a little Protoceratops and stuff. And there's two versions of this Zuni. There's a green one and a red one. But uh, I'm scooting this down to F. Um, I'm sorry. Like, it, it's cool, but I just feel like it enters that sort of cursed territory to me where it's like, you know, if you're into this, then that's fine. That's It's cool that they exist. Um, they're kind of nostalgic in a way, but just having like such a good sculpt with the cheap sort of glow-in-the-dark quality to it is just not my jam, so. Utah Ceratops. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love this one. Now the question is, where does it, where does it go up here? I think I'm... I think I'm scooting it right there for now. S tier. Love that one so much. Glorious. Now here's one that would have been S tier for me before the fan's choice version of this one came out. And I feel like it's dropped a bit. So I'm putting it at the top of A tier. But the regular Medusa Ceratops is still really good. And I just love that he full on committed to the crazy purple and like reds and yellows and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not my absolute favorite. Let's get this one out of the way because I just reviewed this recently and everyone knows where this is going. Let's just, let's just scoot it up here. And because I'm using Photoshop and not Tear Maker like any sane person, I have to scoot everything manually. I'm just realizing now. But yeah, spoiler alert, that's my favorite one out of the entire series. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Oh no. Am I good? I think I'm good. I think we survived, folks. And once again, you can go watch my whole review on it to see. I did a double review with this one and the Triceratops. Go watch that whole video. I'll link it up there. It's popping up now, but finish watching this first. I'm such a sucker for the color blue, and I love Taurosaurus. It's got my favorite head sculpt out of the entire line, too. It looks so cool. And that bright blue color that he full-on committed to, it's it's awesome. It's such a beacon. I mean, look at it. Like, even if I drag it down here with the rest of the, the figures, just... Your eyes are just drawn to it. It's such a beacon. I love it so much. One of the coolest figures I've ever owned. All right, let's do some of the mini guys, which I'm going to do like a full re review of reviewing all the ones I have at some point if I ever find the time to do it. But the Protoceratops Helicorhinus, I think, is really good. But I think it's the top of B tier for me. 
Um, I like it, but I don't like it as much as, like, say, the, the Medusa and the Nazut, which we have in A. Uh, really good sculpt, and the Protos and the Taco, spoiler alert, are my favorite out of the small figures that he's released so far. And while we're on the topic, here's the, here's the regular version of the Proto. This one's also very good. I think this one's like a low B tier for me, though. I just like the, the colors, and I think I like the head better on the Helicarinus. Oh, this one, <laughs> here, this one's gonna be fun. So, when I saw the concept art for this Regali Ceratops, I, uh, I absolutely adored it. I was so excited to see it realized in figure form, and I even liked the prototype when it came out, but, um... Yeah, absolute bottom of F tier. Spoiler alert. Probably my least favorite one. Actually, maybe not. No, I don't think it is my least favorite one in the whole series. But <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. But the proportions are so off on it. The head is so big on this one. It's huge. And the paint job on the actual products, like the ones that actually came out for people to buy, it just doesn't look good in hand. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. And I love Regali Ceratops and the concept art with like the the bright like magenta colors and stuff on it looked so good and this is one of the only figures in the line that's just like a complete miss for me and how it uh, how it ended up. Oh hey look it's Darth Maul. I like the Cosmoceratops a lot. Um, I think this one is like a top of B tier for me. It's really good. I played with this one. My friend Gibson has it when I went to visit him. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's solid. I just don't think it's like one of my absolute favorites and I'm not planning on getting it currently. Spy Clippius. I loved this one when it was first revealed and I was planning on getting it initially. It has rotted on me a bit over time. I think it's still okay though, like, it's a top of C tier for me. If someone gave it to me, I wouldn't get rid of it, but it's not my favorite by a long shot. All right, Old Buck from the Dinosauria series by David James Armsby on YouTube. It's so cool that this figure exists, first of all. It's just absolutely nuts. Leaving the sort of nostalgia and the connection to the Dinosauria series out of it just for pure visuals, I'm gonna give it a kind of mid to low B tier. I love the colors on it. I just think the visual style of this one is obviously based off of the art style in the show, which is great. So that's kind of what makes it difficult for me to get this one and put it with my other Ceratops scenes. But if I have the room, I would get it and like put it with my media shelf on the side or something. Looks really good. And while we're on it, there is the uh, the battle damaged version of Old Buck here as well. This one's this one's like an E tier. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it in E. And I know that's what it looks like in the short, but if I'm getting one, I'm getting the regular version because I think the the painted on just battle damage looks looks weird to me. Um, I do like the bloodied horn on the nose, but uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm I'm putting it. Ooh, little tiny Satakasaurus, 118 scale. Uh, this one I'm going to scoot right up near the top of B tier here. I think this one is really good and fun to mess around with for being a bipedal dude at such a small size, but yeah, there we go. And Mr. Triceratops is poking out here. Let's see, where do you fit in in S tier? This is kind of a given. Do I like the fan's choice Medusa more than you? Do I? Do I? I actually think I do. Fight me. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for blue and metallic colors. I'm sorry, but these are all like so close up here. You know what's a surprising turn of events? Is this one, the Fans Choice Pachyrhinosaurus that I thought was kind of mid for a long time when it was initially revealed. I'm so thankful David Silva sent this one to me to do an early review on it because it has grown on me immensely top of A tier, not quite an S tier for me, but it's it's going right there. It's so good. I love the colors on it so much. And while we're on A tier, here is the Sinoceratops, one that I kind of regret pulling the trigger on in comparison to a couple other figures I don't have yet from the Ceratopsian series. I do really love the Sino. I think its head sculpt is awesome. I think the colors on its face are just perfection, like I said in my review. Shameless plug once again. But the body colors and patterning just are, I've learned to tolerate them, they're just not my favorite. It's still bottom of A tier. I think it's really cool for what it is, but um, yeah, it's it's not as high as I initially thought when I when I decided to pull the trigger and get it. Regular Satakasaurus, one six scale, I believe, if I know my scales correctly. I've gotten to play with this one in person as well, and uh, I honestly think that the smaller one is better and more enjoyable to work with. Um, this one's going 
at the bottom of E tier for me. Also, I just don't collect in that skill. It's cool that the option is there, but it looks like it's kind of frustrating to work with stability wise. And I have PTSD from the Raptor series with that. So no, thank you. Ineosaurus, one of my favorite genuses of Ceratopsians. I love this thing so much. And I'm sad to say that it's taken the top of F tier for me. Why? The colors are cool. I like the colors. I like that it doesn't really follow suit with all of the bright colors in the series, but it really pulls off this boldness with the patterns and the more duller tones of color that it uses with the grays and the browns and stuff and the reddish browns. The head sculpt though, I can't, I, I really don't like the head sculpt. If you look at actual skulls of Ineosaurus, it's got this really cool, even the package art for the Ineosaurus in the series has this cool like elongated hooked snout. It's got a much longer face and the actual figure for this one has such a squashed face and a really awkward bottom jaw. I think it has the same bottom jaw piece as the Zuni Ceratops if I'm not mistaken, but uh, oh wait. Where's the Zuni Ceratops? Wait, I also forgot the Chasmosaurus too? Okay, I think I have everybody present now so nobody will yell at me, let's go. Since we talked about Zuni Ceratops, let's grab this one. I love the colors on this one. I think it's fun to mess around with. I wish he did more Ceratopsians with this body size, honestly, because it's, it's really fun. I, it's got a lot of expressiveness. I hate the jaw on it though. The jaw barely moves and it looks like this big chunk that's just kind of sitting at the bottom of the face. Um, it's fine, but it's honestly like, it's it's just a, so a top of C tier for me. The colors genuinely carry this one for me. And since we forgot about poor old Chasmosaurus too, let's just, let's get this one out of the way as well. I still love the Chasmosaurus, but I wouldn't say it's an S tier for me anymore. Uh, I'm putting it right there towards the top of A tier. I think it's really bold. It's really cool with the, the frog colors that he shows for it, or a toad, or a frog. The amphibian colors, whatever animal he chose for it. I forget the exact one. I used to hate it when I saw the prototype, but I, I think it's really cool now. Fans choice Taurosaurus that a lot of people seem to prefer over the blue version. And I'm gonna make you hate me. Bottom of C tier. Let's go. I think it's fine but I think it's just bland in comparison to a lot of the Ceratopsians in the series. And I know it's based off of the Walking with Dinosaurs Taurosaurus, but it doesn't look like it to me. It looks like it's its own thing with subtle inspirations from the Walking with Dinosaurs Taurosaurus, which is fine. I just don't find it exciting. I prefer my big blue boy in comparison to that one. And if you like that one, it's okay to be wrong, guys. The internet is full of incorrect people, so don't let me stop you. Diablo Ceratops, the first one that I fell in love with in this series. It's still so cool. Uh, this one would have been an S tier for me, but I think it's honestly towards the top of A tier for me. I'm realizing how much I like that Pachyrhinosaurus, the fan's choice one. Dang, bro. Speaking of Diablo, little baby. Yes, I actually have one of the babies my friend Cesar gave to me. And I'm getting two more of them that another friend is sending to me soon. I'm getting a full set from two people, like, indirectly, which is funny. Based off the one that I have, these are adorable figures. I'll have to do a video on them at some point. The, their range of motion is not great, honestly, but I think their presence and for how big they are, they're, they're really cute. So I'm going to give them bottom of B tier. Subadult Trike, which was the first figure that I backed on the Kickstarter initially, which I'm glad I removed because I wasn't planning on getting the big trike because I wasn't planning on getting that much into BODM at the time. But look at me now. And uh, I'm much happier with the, the bigger Triceratops than this one. This one's still fine, but it's just... Something about it, it's not very exciting to me. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, just the bottom of C tier. Uh, I'll put it above, I think I like it better than the Taurosaurus, so I'll give it, oh, and there goes my phone, of course. Xenoceratops, the first one he ever revealed, I'm pretty sure. I really like this one. I saw it at my friend's house, I was tempted to get it, but it's kind of similar, in, phone, please. But it's kind of similar in general color palette to the Phone! But it's kind of similar in general color palette to the... Phone! But it's kind of similar in general color palette to the Fans Choice Pachyrhinosaurus, so I think that one satiated that sort of void in my lineup of big Ceratopsians. And I think if I got this one, it would sort of detract from that one. And as a genus, I like Pachyrhinosaurus more than Xenoceratops. So this one's still really good. 
I'm gonna scoot it in though at like right here in A tier, like right above the Sino. I think overall conceptually, I like it better than the, the Sino now. The Pentaceratops. Oh, I've always been a sucker for Pentaceratops as a genus. Uh, I know a lot of people make fun of it because it's named Five Horned Face, even though it doesn't have five horns. We're scooting all these guys over. A tier is like completely full now and he's taking the top of A tier. I need to get that one at some point still. Especially after watching the Skeleton Cruise episode on Pentaceratops. It's been on my mind lately. Oh, ho, ho, it's Ronald McDonald, the Wendy Ceratops. Now, I love Wendy Ceratops. I think it's a pretty underrated Ceratops scene. It's got such a cool head. I, I despised this thing's colors for so long and I still don't like them. Uh, it looks like a McDonald's advertisement to me. Don't comment until you're done pouring your sauce packets all over your Ceratopsians. I just am not a fan of this one, really. Uh, it's taking the top of D tier, though, because I think it would be more interesting to have it than anything below here for me, really. Protoceratops, the big one. This one's fine, but I don't collect the 1-6 scale anymore, really. Um, it was very fun to pose, I will say and the colors definitely grew on me. But this one, I think I would scoot in like right in middle of C tier, right there. Yeah, we'll put him right there. Centrosaurus, talk about colors carrying a figure. I saw this one at my friend's house. You know I'm a sucker for the color blue. I mean, everything on my channel is themed with the color blue. And I really don't like the head sculpt on this one. I think the horn looks dinky. The face looks kind of weird. I love the, the horns on the frill and stuff. And the choice of colors for the horns is great. The color scheme, I thought it reminded me of toothpaste with all of the, the way the white stripes are shaped on it for some reason. And my friends always made fun of me for saying that, but it, that's what I always said. After experiencing the colors for this one in hand, I can safely say that the colors are amazing. Like the subtle iridescence to the blue, like sh the shininess going down to the, the blue on the back and everything is so good. I really don't like the head sculpt still, but the colors carry it. Well, whoopsie, I'm breaking everything. The colors carry it all the way up to the top of B tier for me. I'm not planning on getting it because I honestly don't want anything to detract from the glorious big blueness of the Taurosaurus in my collection. But yeah, that one definitely grew on me. The Bionotops, I think it is. The recolor of the Triceratops. Yeah, I think out of any of the Ceratopsians in the line, this one easily takes the cake for my least favorite. The sculpt is great, of course, because it's just the Triceratops sculpt, but the colors, I get what what they were based off of, and if you're a fan of the the, the old Bio, Biotops toy or whatever it was, then that's cool, and it's cool that this exists for fans of that, but I'm not a fan of that, so on my tier list, it's taken the bottom of F tier. I think it looks gross. I don't like it. It's so much green. It's such a violent green. Literally every inch of it, it's green. The claws on its hands and feet are green. It's too much green. I don't like it. And speaking of green, we have the Avaceratops, which I liked a lot more um, when I initially saw like the prototypes of it and stuff. The colors translated to the actual produced versions of the model are not good. It looks gross. And it also has the weird jaw that the Ineosaurus and the Zuniceratops have. So this one is going in F tier. I, uh, me no, me no like it. Actually, I'd rather have a glow in the dark boy than, than this one, I think. That one goes there. And I think it would have benefited this one too, because Avaceratops was pretty small, if I remember correctly. I think it would have been cool if it was the same body size as the Zuniceratops, but oh well. And last but not least, the first big one that I got in my collection is the regular Pachyrhinosaurus. I still like this one. I genuinely do. I just think that it gets lost in comparison to the rest of the series now in retrospect. And it just, it has trouble fitting in uh, and standing out in its own way. It's getting up towards the top of C tier though, uh, because it's still a really cool design. I love the general palette and stuff and the inspiration for the colors. But there we go. There's my Ceratopsian series. Every Ceratopsian released to date so far, to my knowledge. If I forgot any, then feel free to yell at me down below, respectfully, or just call me an idiot. I don't care, honestly. Let me know what you think of my objectively correct 
ranking down below. If you don't like it, you can go cry. And in the comments down below, tell me your top three favorite Ceratopsians from BOTM and your bottom three least favorite ones. Thank you for watching. Let me know what I should tier list next in the comments down below. Take care and bye bye.